here's another video just to clarify some points that people asked yesterday um, everyone said how about some more hard drives so uh, or a bigger hard drive so is four hard drives enough so if you don't have a, the folder structure is you have to have a folder called games um, and chuck everything in there so if I go into this one here it says no game folder found um, you can set it up however you like so if I go into this one here you can make folders A, B, C, D all the way to Z um, or you can go like this like the first one here and I've got 360 games and movies so you can actually rip like a, a DVD movie if you want um, and name it whatever you want and it'll play just like a disc otherwise 360 games you can sort of if you want adventure, connect, shooters, sport, uh, whatever you want. So you can just scroll through and have it set up however you like. Um, it's not fussy, you can have ISOs in the root and folders, it doesn't really matter. And then when you want to load it, you just click on it. Oh, of course, you have to open the tray. Uh, when it says Xbox 360, that's the type of ISO that it's detecting. So um, if it's a, a DVD, it'll say just uh, ISO device. If it's a, an Xbox One game, it'll say Xbox One. And down the bottom is just the amount of data that, that pushes through on there. So as requested, people wanted to see the device and, and what it comes with. So you've got the X key uh, screen. It's the slave board. Uh, you have the actual main board, the, the brains of the whole operation. Um, on the back, you have a micro SD card slot. Oops. Like that, which stores uh, half or most of the firmware. Uh, you've got the side cable and Molex power. And of course, that piggybacks the power off here. Uh, comes with a 128 meg micro SD card. Uh, and also the cable that passes from the outside of the console to the inside. So what you do is you, you obviously the basic installation is you open up your 360, fat or slim. Um, you've got two cables here, data and power. You just got to remove them, uh, grab your DVD drive, dump the firmware, there will be uh, features that will be able to dump your firmware directly from the X key so you won't need any extra tools but I think on launch, you know, day one, they're not going to have that um, feature up and running um, so what you need to do is dump your firmware so here's the micro SD card we've got two files which are the same for every X key and that file there is a dump of uh, the key on the slim. Uh, so you call that dummy.bin for the slim. If it's any other firmware um, for the uh, for the fat console, you call it firmware.bin. So after you've got your dumped firmware on the micro SD card, you gently place the micro SD card back in there like that close the shutter quick shut uh, now you're basically just plugging this cable in here and then this cable in here the right way as you can see Everything kind of fits really tightly on the uh, on the slim. Um, I don't have the final version, so the final version will have uh, some little plastic or cardboard cover for the front and probably the back, so nothing kind of uh, touches anything important to sh make any shorts. And of course, this just goes back. this just slot the DVD drive back in there as I mentioned it's a pretty pretty 
perfect fit. They designed it exactly for the slim and the fat. There's like so much room, it's not funny. Uh, and the last thing you do, of course, before covering it, is uh, plug in this little USB cable here. Plug the other end into the slave board. The right way, of course. And that's it, that's your whole setup. So you just need to pass this cable outside the console. It's actually a groove for it right here, and we'll show you in the final uh, installation video how to pass it out of the fat and slim. Um, but that's it, you know. Plug in the console, test it out before you close it. As I said, make sure this bit's covered here, and, and that's it. And as I mentioned, we'll have a full installation video very soon. We're just waiting on confirmation that this hardware here and these plugs aren't going to change and, and move around. Thank you. Oh, and just to show you. Yes, all the games that we showed today, we do have legit copies of.